President Biden is wrapping up his first foreign trip this week with one major item left on his agenda, a face-to-face -face meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Biden's trip has already taken him to the G7 summit in Cornwall and the NATO summit in Brussels, where he also participated in the U.S.-European Union summit on Tuesday. On the world stage, Biden has talked with leaders about the threats posed by a rising China and by Russia. China was a main topic of conversation at the G7 summit, and it was mentioned four separate times in the communique all seven leaders signed. And at the NATO summit, leaders agreed their mutual defense pact would now cover any threats in space. But the highest profile part of Biden's trip was always going to be his sit down with Putin in Geneva. Biden suggested he would be looking for areas of common ground. But I will tell you this, I'm gonna make clear to President Putin, that there are areas where we can cooperate if he chooses. And if he chooses not to cooperate and acts in a way that he has in the past relative to cybersecurity and some other activities, then we will respond. We will respond in kind. Biden has also made clear he isn't underestimating Putin, someone he once said has no soul. The two have met previously, but never as fellow heads of state. I have met with him. He's bright. He's tough. And uh, I have found that uh, he is a, uh, as they say, when he used to play ball, a worthy adversary. With his agenda in Washington stalled, Biden is under pressure on his first foreign trip to deliver some wins for his administration. Despite some stumbles along the way, the White House insists that the trip is, so far, a success. Sarah Westwood for The Washington Examiner.